Hey guys, I wanted to make a video regarding Acolytes, Star Wars in general, and how Star Wars has been getting shit on by big YouTubers like Star Wars Theory, um, and other YouTubers, and fans around the world alike. Uh, people are claiming that uh, Star Wars Acolytes has broken canon uh, by doing things such as um, including Mundi in the story, by making Yoda incompetent, uh, by... Uh, having the twins as the, the created by the force having the witches create life um and what are some of the other things i'm trying to think here i and plague is being a cave dweller and, and being too young or something like that being i guess inserted in the wrong time period um the list goes on so i just wanted to go from these comments i wanted to go over my comments that i had you know um so let's um Sorry, my here. I made a comment uh, two days ago. I, I wrote, um, this is my theory. I think Anakin was a false prophecy created by Plagueis. And the, t the two twins, the twins, were uh, prototypes. I think that he did his, he did this so he could rise up and over to the Jedi Order. And eventually, guys, you know that Palpatine was the one that ended up doing it by turning Anakin to the dark side. And he brought up the story of Dark Plagueis the Wise. Now we go into some of the response. Uh, Game 4 Lord agreed with me saying that having listened to the Plagueis audiobook this somewhat checks out so then we have this uh, other guy here uh Locke he wrote or she wrote uh Disney fans will say anything to excuse the laziness and mediocrity uh of Disney even shit on the lord of the franchise they say they love it's amazing so you know we have fans like uh, Locke over here who are the self entitled they're they know it all police if you don't like it their way, shame on you. That's that's how Star Wars theory runs this cult. If you if you're not with him, you're against him. Kind of like how it says in Episode Three. Um, and then we have someone that piggyback right off of him, and he's saying that what's even more incredible in these so-called Star Wars fans will shield for anything Star Wars does, including destroying canon, Anakin, the whole reasoning behind Episode One through Six. The entire backstory, yada yada, um, and this is pretty much what Star Wars Theory was alluding to. So you can tell he's a fan of Star Wars Theory. Um, and then uh, someone kind of, you know, I guess agreed with me to an extent. He said, "Yep, I can't remember which book it is, um, but it is." But I think if there being other there are beings, there are other people being created. By the force, including Anakin, May, and Osha. Sorry, I put you that. <laughs> I think it was either a book or Sith of secrets or Sith. I am not sure. And then I commented and replied to Baptist, which was the guy that wrote about how you know we're all lazy. And um, I think that the issue with some fans, especially the older ones, um, and I think this is true right here, guys. Not a lot of people will agree with this, with this, but I think a lot of the older fans are stuck in their old ways and. I remember when the prequels first came out, the, the there was this group of people. They were like diehard Star Wars fans, and they were like, you know, they only like four to six after prequels. You know that they're not Star Wars. So this happens a lot with Star Wars fans. They see new content and they can't bear to see a change, right? And people think that Star Wars is Skywalker, but it's not. To an extent, it was at one point. But after episode 3, you know, when they mentioned Dark Plague as the wise who created life, you know, there's no need for him to be brought up. But mentioning him, guys, allowed Star Wars to have other opportunities to explore other avenues. Um, and when I saw it in theaters, I wanted to know more about this. I don't think Ac Acolytes has lazy writing at all. That's just my opinion, you know. I know it did a lot of controversial things explaining their story. But surprisingly, guys, in my opinion, they never broke canon, right? They... And they showed the viewers a different side of the Jedi. If you think about it, Count Dooku was one of the many Jedi that deflected to the Sith, right? And he wasn't even, like, under control. If you look at Dooku, his eyes were never yellow. He was never, like... He didn't look like he was consumed by the dark side like Anakin was, right? Dooku always seemed like he was met methodical. He was in control of his actions every time. Dooku knew exactly what he was doing. He saw something in the Jedi he didn't like. And he left them for a reason, right? I don't know too much about Dooku's backstory, so I'm not going to pretend like I do. But that's one example. And another one was when Ahsoka was accused and they didn't believe her. And Yoda didn't see through that, right? He was incompetent then and he was incompetent before. Yoda's not a psychic. I know in Episode 3 when he felt a lot of Jedi's dying, he, he dropped a stick. But you got to think about it. You know, that that was 
different. That was just a lot of slaughter going around, and he was feeling something in the Force. And who knows? He probably felt that in the Acolytes, too. They just didn't show us, right? And if you think about it, in the Acolytes, they were very heavy on showing us that they were uh, going to be closed off. They, they wanted to remove them as a thing in, in the galaxy, um, but they were fighting to stay relevant. And who knows? You know, Yoda was probably in that. He wanted to find a way to keep everything was happening a secret. He wanted to clear it himself. Maybe he wanted to, to do something to try not to let the Senate know so they can stay relevant. You never know, you know. Like, I like that Yak likes exploring these different things that what are Jedis, if you think about it. The police, like, the police are supposed to be good, but they're corrupt, right? An example I wrote here. Um, so that was just many examples. Like like I said, the police, the police are supposed to be good, and they're the protectors, just like the Jedis. Uh, but when there's danger and we see the police, we feel safe, right? And Acolytes, the Jedi, at the time, were acting like the police force. They were going around the galaxy. Why? Wow, you have these children, X, Y, and Z, yada, yada. But then, just like the Jedi Order, the police force is always also corrupt. And personally, guys, I am enjoying the show, right? I am enjoying the show, but it's not perfect. None of the Star Wars shows were perfect. I don't think it was. Um, there's other Star Wars material that's better than the others. So it's always going to be like that. And, you know, I do feel like Star Wars fans are really hard to appease, like this Locke guy himself. Because, like I said, the prequels were getting hammered at one point, And Lucas himself even mentioned it, I think, in an interview. And, you know, it's hard for him. The criticism they received for the prequels, which ended up in him selling the franchise. And now people are crying for him to come back. Oh, you, Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm are disrespecting George Lucas's work. They're, they're breaking canon. They're, they're doing everything opposite of what he wanted to do. But you guys were shitting on him before, and now that he's gone and Disney, who has the money, is creating Star Wars product, people are losing their shits. So you, you can't not make this stuff up, right? So this guy today, he replies to me about an hour ago, and this was by far the funniest opener. Because he starts off by saying Darth Plagueis did not create life. The Force created Anakin in response to his experiments. Okay, so if I'm a mad scientist and I'm experimenting something... And somehow my experiments created something. That means I am the creator. right? So if Dark Plague has created life by messing around with the Force in response to his experiments, he created Anakin, right? Okay, so that already contradicted itself. And then he said the Acolytes was writing is absolutely bad. There are plenty of videos at, from many reviewers dis dissecting, dissecting how terrible it is. Maybe that could help you put things into perspective. Again, that would be biased criticism and it's not fair. And then he goes on to call them space witches, which is creating life. So let's touch on the space witches comments, guys. I wanted to show you something real quick. Let's go and review that right now. So the space witches creating life. So I, I did do some research. I did comment it back, but hit my comment didn't save on on his uh, response. I don't see it currently. But um, if we look in here, we will see. There was a theory. Um, someone made a theory for the Acolytes reveals how the, the witches of... Uh, Brendock truly fit into the history of legacy of Star Wars Dark uh, Lords of Sith, having revealed that in the Acolytes uh, episode 3 that this covert has the power to create life and connections to have been drawn to Darth Plagueis. So, my theory in all this is that Darth Plagueis either A, worked with the Dark Witches to create life, maybe they wanted their own kids, they couldn't have any because, you know, they're... Um, two female couple and they obviously can't create life like that and maybe they made a deal with Darth Plagueis who who helped them create life through the force right we don't know if that happened because the Star Wars fans right now are rushing the story we're not letting the story develop so we don't know we, we don't know what we're, we're the fans right now are bashing the story we don't know if Darth Plagueis these are his prototype children he helped create them maybe he had to deal with them we'll do this I'll leave Maybe he didn't tell him I'll keep an eye on them. Maybe he did it in secret and they didn't know. And he he, he injected that forced life in, inside one of those sisters. And one day, because if you look back at Acolytes, I don't even think they had a... When Soul questioned them about it, they never really gave a response because I don't think they knew. So if we if we read some of this, it says in, in Star Wars, Darth Plagueis row. In Anakin's creation is unclear and in canon, but confirmed in Legends. I know Legends is Legends, but they do take parts of Legends. It says in Legends, Anakin was born from the Force as a reaction to Plagueis and Palpatine's growing power in the dark side. Plagueis' grand experiment involved trying to create life by controlling midichlorians 
and then if you read on it says it backfired it caused and it did get created and then in canon the novel some say that Plagueis and the Force were manipulating the wait I'm sorry in the novel Dark Plagueis some say that Plagueis and the Force were manipulating the Force to make it darker and the Force created Anakin in response to restore balance others say Plagueis actions didn't directly create Anakin but rather that he tried to play God with the Force that one makes more sense right and then there's a book on Darth uh, Vader. Uh, this comment hints that Plagueis may have uh, played a role. Oh, uh, Palpatine, I'm sorry. That Palpatine may have played a role in Anakin's creation. So if Palpatine did play a creation, where did Palpatine learn that from? He learned that from Plagueis. Because if you go back to episode 3, he mentions that. So he either learned that technique from his master, or he killed him and somehow he drained him from his power. I don't know. But um, obviously... Plagueis was shown in the Acolytes for a reason, right? He was shown to give the viewers a sense, right? People are rushing the Acolyte story, but if you really sit down and look at it, there were so many hidden duendos that you will be like, oh, wait a minute. Why was that guy there? Oh, he's just hiding in the cave. Why? No, he was hiding in the cave because he's, he's, he's spying on something he possibly created. He's seeing this thing grow. He probably sent his pupil to hunt down May and Osha to convert them for his own doing whatever it is that Plagueis is after whatever the reason is why he wants to create life we don't know we don't know why Plagueis wants to create life right there's more to the character that we don't know or maybe some of you guys do know um and over here says in an early Revenge of the Sith draft Palpatine confirmed that Darth Plagueis used the Millicorians to start the stealth division that created Anakin Skywalker so right there the draft itself states an early Star Wars Sith I'm sorry, in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Draft confirmed that Darth Plagueis did indeed create Anakin Skywalker. So the people that are saying it broke canon, what is Plagueis doing there, you know, all this stuff. Mindy, Mundi's age was never um, confirmed, so we it was never canon, so his age can be anything. His, his race can probably live over 100 years old, right? So that was never confirmed. Um, this was somewhat confirmed here because this is an old Star Wars draft. So they've always had this in the makings. They always had this idea. So let's go back to some of the comments on the Star Wars video itself, Acolytes. So this show is getting a lot of hate. Uh, let's see if we can find some right now. Let's just go here. Okay, here's a good one. Dear Lucasfilms, we like to take this opportunity to let you know that we, and this is from Super Chris 0011, that we, the fans, I guess he's speaking to, uh, he's speaking for himself and seven others, uh, does not constitute true canon or G canon as commonly known. By definition of G canon, is anything that Lucas personally worked on as a creative head. Th listen, uh, Chris. The moment Lucas decided to take the $4 billion and run for the hills, or wh whatever he sold this thing for, was it $4 billion or four, I don't even know what it was. I think it was $4 billion, And run for the hills with that money, he gave up all his rights as a creative head. If Disney wants to bring him in, or Lucasfilms or whoever wants to bring him in as a creative head, they can do that. But as of right now, George Lucas is not in charge of the show. Whatever they decide to do with it, they decide to do with it. Um, and then he wrote, this means that the original and Pico's trilogy, therefore Lucasfilm and Kennedy decided not to use Lucas Story's treatment and decided to go a different direction. They made all their content a new universe, D canon, the true sequel stories, and therefore are the true Star Wars G canon universe is in trash with the scrapped Lucas treatment. Content you are produced is not true canon. Star Wars says. Okay, so Chris is definitely a passionate fan, you can tell. But, again, you know, Lucas gave up the, the rights to the show. It's no longer his story. Um, I don't think Disney or Lucasfilms did anything to tarnish Anakin's story. If anything, they did, they did more to give it more substance. Because one of the craziest questions I always had was, where did Anakin Skywalker come from? Who is his dad? That was one of the, the biggest things back in the days. Who is his dad? Is it this person? Is it that person? Oh, Anakin was created through life. By whom? Who, who did it? And I think this is perfect that Plague is a character that I've always wanted to see in live action. I've always, you know, I thought he was going to be in episode seven when we saw that uh, Smo uh, Snoke, Snoke, that's the name, Snoke. <laughs> when I saw Snoke, I thought that was Plague, or at least I was hoping it wasn't. I was a little bummed out, but whatever. 
But here, here we go. We we got Plagueis. He's in the story. We got these two twins who were created by the Force. People are mad because, oh, damn it, Anakin was supposed to be the first one. No, we don't know that. We don't know if Anakin was the first one. Anakin was probably the first first successful one um, because these twins don't really, they seem pretty pr- pretty persuadable. They seem pretty messed up compared to Anakin. I feel like Anakin had more, more resolve. And we don't know too much of the story, but we got to let it marinate. Let's see if there's any more hate comments. Why do you keep bringing this non-canon show? And I just love how the the fans. This was by Pixelite YouTube. I just love how these these fans just act like they get to dictate what's canon and what's not canon. I, I think that's comical. And here's another one. It says, "In our timeline, fits to my belief of taking place in another multiverse." <laughs> to be honest, I don't care if the actors know or love Star Wars as long as they're portraying. Okay. So he's talking about the ones that blame are the writers and directors. They're acting against the well-established canon. Too many flaws. And I always hear this about how much flawed the acolytes are. But I never really hear a clear argument as to why the Star Wars show, The Acolytes, is breaking canon. How did it break canon? Like, I, I want a clear argument. I keep hearing... Star Wars theory to say all this random stuff and to say, hey, uh, this guy was born in the wrong timeline. Yoda's incompetent. Yoda has been incompetent for so many times. I think it was Yoda's incompetence that kept him alive for over 900 years. I, I think it was that. Because if he was incompetent, the man would have been dead. Like, at least 600 years ago. So, um, and then someone said, Stack likes isn't getting a season two. And then someone says, words can express my surprise. <laughs> so th- there's a lot of um, <clears throat> great comments here. And then some people be like, laugh a lot. You guys actually made this series. I came here for the comments. I don't blame you. Um, Woodlander Studios. Uh, let's see what else. And then someone wrote, I can't wait to see the art of that. Like, I gave it a thumbs up. I do admit I was uh, trolling a little bit because I know how much hate the show is getting, but I honestly do like the show, guys. I, I think it's a, I think it has potential. Um, and then someone wrote, "Hey, Star Wars Theory, just wanted to let you know, put a new video an hour ago. They already have okay. So yeah, there's there's a lot. Shame they didn't put enough effort in the rest of the show. Who cares, Lucas?" film next time consult your groundskeeper for star wars i guess those are the the youtube fans um so there's a lot of hate this show is getting there's some love but there's more hate than love and i don't think the show is as bad uh the acolytes is trash boycott star wars outlaw and everything sweet baby is related justice harvey weinstein's assistance how about the writing a good story with character development then being woke using legacy characters like that the fans base like so again guys i mean if anybody that will you know watch this video if you can give me like an argument without saying bad writing or kathleen kennedy without using hate because most of the star wars hate is based on the hatred towards kathleen kennedy if you guys can i wish my comment didn't get deleted because i did write a very lengthy post but i don't see it here but if someone can just comment on this video and let me know, give give me valid reasons, like like a, like a nice argument, not not writing stuff sucks, no character, like give me a reason. Why does this one? Why is Star Wars Acolytes bad compared to like the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, or any of the other Star Wars shows that came out, Andor, or just anything? What makes the Acolytes so bad? Was episode 9 better than the Acolytes? Was episode 8 better than the Acolytes? Some people say yes, right? Like, what was so bad about the Acolytes? I I know they did a lot of stuff that made people uncomfortable, but they never broke canon. Someone needs to prove me wrong. They never broke canon. They never did. I I think they never confirmed that the witches really created life. And if they did, we don't know who helped them. They obviously showed Plagueis for a reason. And they obviously showed him spying on Osha for a reason. right? They already confirmed that he was the master of Ymir so we know that so maybe he used him his, his Sith Padawan pupil to lure his creation and so he can get a better observation 
right? There, there's more to the story that we don't know, and that's why I wanted season two, because I honestly want to see where is this show heading. And season two will make or break the show, in my, in my opinion. You can't base it off season one yet because there are so many unanswered questions. Anyways, guys, just comment in, in, below. Like the video, dislike the video. That that would be great too. Whatever you guys want, um, share your thoughts. I, I want to give it a new perspective. I think all this hate is is not good, man. You got to have the other voice, the dark side and the light side. I guess um, I'm part of the dark side because all the Star Wars fans are saying that this is evil. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Take care.